morning, friends and members of Lely Presbyterian Church. Again, I welcome you to your own sanctuary for a devotion on this Monday, uh, March 23rd, and pray that as uh, you may listen to this, that it might help you feel connected with the body of Christ of which you are a most vital and important part as we are a community of faith in this place. I want to remind you that service and mission goes on and hungry people continue to have need. I want you to see what I can see out the window, which is that the food truck is out there and people are waiting in line. Um, and this is a vital mission that's part of the work of this church. We are grateful that it continues. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about our partnership uh, with different people, including the people that are gathered outside. Partnership is a critical piece of what we are about, and so I would like to read to you a passage from 1 Peter. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ to the exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, chosen and destined by God the Father and sanctified by the Spirit for obedience to Jesus Christ and sprinkled with his blood. May grace and peace be multiplied to you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, we have been born anew into living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And to an inheritance which is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while you may have to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith more precious than gold, which, though perishable, is tested by fire, may redound to praise and glory and honor in the revelation of Jesus Christ. Without having seen him, you love him. And though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with an unutterable and exalted joy. As the outcome of your faith, you obtain the salvation of your soul. Critical to this passage is the understanding of what it means to receive an inheritance uh, from a common source. The way to understand that perhaps is through the old English word about partnership. A partner is not somebody you agree to go in business with, but a partner in the old English sense of the word is someone who, like you, receives an inheritance from the same source. And that makes you partners. And it doesn't matter how rich you are, it doesn't matter what your share of the inheritance is, you are all by that rendered equal. Partners in the eyes of God and partners in filling out what the gift requires of you to receive. And this, as Christians, we believe is a call that we, uh, that we find our joy and our being and our way of giving thanks for the salvation we receive through Christ by how we serve the kingdom of God. A Presbyterian hymn writer, Jane Parker Huber, wrote a hymn that relates to this. Called as partners in Christ's service, 
called to ministries of grace. We respond with deep commitment, fresh new lines of faith to trace. May we learn the art of sharing side by side and friend with friend, equal partners in our caring to fulfill God's chosen end. Christ's example, Christ's inspiring, Christ's clear call to work and work. Let us follow never faltering, reconciling folk on earth. Men and women, richer, poorer, all God's people, young and old, blending human skills together, gracious gifts from God unfold. Thus new patterns of Christ's mission in a small or global sense, help us bear each other's burdens, breaking down each wall or fence. Words of comfort, words of vision, words of challenge said with care, bring new power and strength for action, make us colleagues free and fair. So God grants us for tomorrow ways to order human life that surround each person's sorrow with a calm that conquers strife. Make us partners in our living, our compassion to increase, messengers of faith, thus giving hope and confidence and peace. I am grateful to God again for having called me to serve with you, to be the Lely Presbyterian Church, to share the word of God, to receive that word as a family of faith. And I have a deep awareness as I express that thanksgiving, that you and I are partners. We have each of us received the grace and the love and the mercy of God. And we are bound to one another and not one of us is not worth more or more powerful or more loved than the other. We are equal because we are co-inheritors of the very same gift. And that gift is the grace of God's love in Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.